Hello students, today we are going to cover the topic uniform plane waves. Uh, an electromagnetic wave propagating in z direction is said to be a uniform plane wave if its electric field vector and magnetic field vector are independent of x and y directions. Okay, whether E and H are in the x direction or in the y direction, they must be perpendicular to each other. It is also defined as a wave in which E and H lie in a plane and have the same value everywhere in that plane. These waves exist only in the free space at infinite distance from the source. For a uniform wave propagating in Z direction has no Z components of E and H. That is to prove Ez is equals to 0 and Hz is equals to 0. This is just the assumed direction. We are assuming that our uniform plane wave is traveling in the Z direction. But it may also travel in the Y direction or X direction. So if the wave travels in the X direction, there will be no X component of E and H. Similarly, if our wave travels in the Y direction, then there is no Y component of E and H vector. So there is also one relation exists between E and H for the uniform plane waves that is E and H oscillate in a phase and ratio of their amplitude is constant being equal to 120 pi or 377 or it is the square root of the ratio of mu naught by epsilon naught. This can be proved in the next lecture. This figure shows how the uniform plane wave travels along the z direction. Here Again, I am saying that the Z is our assumed direction. It's not the fixed direction. This wave may also travel in X, may also travel in Y. But here we are assuming that our wave travels in the Z direction. So there is no E component and H component across the Z direction. So let's see uh, here electric field vector is represented by this straight line arrows and the magnetic field vector is represented by these the slanting line arrows. Now let's start with the proof. As the plane wave equation in terms of E in the free space can be written like this. This we have already studied in the previous lectures. That is del square E is equals to mu naught epsilon naught curly square E by curly T square. Now resolving this del square E it can be written as curly square E by curly X square plus curly square E by curly Y square plus curly square e by curly z square is equals to mu naught epsilon naught curly square e by curly t square. Now as per the definition of uniform plane wave that e is not the function of x and e is also not the function of y. Therefore the curly square e by curly x square is equals to 0 in this component and curly square e by curly y square is also equals to 0 in this equation. So putting these two equations here, we get only the z component left with us that is the curly square e by curly z square is equal to mu naught epsilon naught into curly square e by curly t square. Here e is the uh, derivative with respect to t and here e is derivative with respect to z. Now expanding these two z component and t component that is curly square e x by curly z square i cap plus curly square e y by curly z square j cap and curly square e z by curly z square k cap. Here i cap, z cap and j k cap are the unit vectors which can be represented here a x, a y and a z. Similarly on this right hand side it can be expanded as mu naught epsilon naught x component, y component and the z component. Now equating both sides. Equating both sides for the x component, y component and z component, we get these three equations. This equation for the x component, this equation is for the y component and this equation is for the z component. Now according to the Maxwell's first equation that is del dot d vector is equals to, it is actually equals to rho. But in the free space we are writing the uniform plane wave, the rho is 0. Therefore the del dot d comes out to be 0. And similarly del dot e is also equals to 0. Hence expanding this del dot e into different x, y, z components it can comes out to be curly e x by curly x plus curly e y by curly y plus curly e z by curly z it is equals to 0. 
now as according to the condition of uniform plane wave that x component and y components are zero therefore we left with only the z component that is curly e z by curly z is equals to zero hence substituting this equation number two in this equation number one we get curly square e z by curly t square is equals to zero because here the left side comes equal to zero according to the equation number two so now the curly square e z by curly t square is equal to zero and this is possible only if the possible solutions for these equations are the first solution possible is e z is equal to zero second is if e z is any constant let us suppose a with time then the double differentiating with time is it comes answer to be zero and as e z increases uniformly with time so e z is equal to k t where k is any constant or a is any constant then it will not be the part of the wave motion therefore e z is equal to zero and similarly we can write it for the magnetic field also that h z is equal to zero this implies that the components of electric and magnetic fields of a uniform plane wave in the direction of propagation are zero here we are assuming the direction of propagation as z direction so here comes out to be the e z is equal to zero and h z is equal to zero okay so this is the topic for the uniform plane waves thank you